Hey, this is John from Action M Services and we're back in our Mississauga project here. And right now I actually want to talk about one of the types of retaining walls which we built here and working on armor stone retaining wall. This wall here has a different height starting off at 4 feet all the way to 12 feet in the biggest area. And there are a few major important things when it comes to any retaining wall. So main reason for building retaining walls is to hold any aggregates or soil behind it, which helps to elevate surface and make everything flat. So in this specific case, you can see there is a very big slope going after. So what we had to do is build up the wall so we can make fully flat pool deck all the way around uh, our backyard. Now, extremely important thing with any type of retaining walls is the drainage. So what we need to make sure is that this wall will never shift or move. And there's a lot of complexity uh, which comes to when you're building a properly built retaining wall. So as you can see, we used tons of clear gravel all the way around the wall. The clear gravel goes all the way to four feet behind the wall. It goes all the way around, it wraps around. So the first thing with any type of retaining wall, specifically with armor stone wall, is the wall has to be built lower than the surface level. So that the granule base under the retaining wall will not shift or move. So it's actually straight right in the ground. That's the first thing. Our second thing is once the wall starts to go up, we are installing what's called a clear gravel, which creates a permeable surface behind the wall and allows all the pressure from the water to get released and it will go all the way to the bottom, where later our whipping tile will catch this water and it's gonna remove all the pressure behind the wall. Our next thing is a, a landscape fabric, which you can see right here. So what this fabric does, it actually prevents any of the clear gravel to later wash away in between the gaps. Um, you can't really see right now, but this fabric actually goes on a U-shape, so it fully wraps around. So clear gravel does not get contaminated with soil. So this soil here is still way under the grading. We're gonna be coming up another 18 inches here, but this is gonna be our additional project next year. So our whipping tile in a U-shape stops right there, right under where I'm standing. And the last piece is Geogrid. So Geogrid is a special system which is used to reinforce the wall. So depending on height of the wall, different layers of Geogrid has to be used. So on our deeper height of the wall, we went as far as 12 feet, we wrapped it out on all sides, on all corners, and pretty much each single layer here had an additional layer of geogrid going behind to further reinforce the wall. Thank you so much for joining John from Action M Services. Stay tuned for an update from another retaining wall project. And we're back at our Mississauga Ravine project. And as you can see, we already completed our job here with a gorgeous armor stone wall, lots of other pool work and landscaping work at the back. But right now I wanna focus on our armor stone wall. So that's a gorgeous product which we use. That's a guillotine armor stone. You can see how precisely it is cut, how nice of a clean finish it has. You can still see a geogrid system which we use between any type of armor stone walls which we build or block walls as well, as well as our whipping tile system. So this wall goes in the entire spam of the backyard. From here, you can see that's our second course. There's one course which is buried lower, uh, which is hidden. And then it's, as the slope goes up, there's more courses which being buried. So this armor stone wall is gonna last forever. The beauty of armor stone wall is you can get this product built at a much cheaper rate than a regular concrete walls or block walls, but it's still gonna provide you the same structural integrity. Thank you so much for joining me at this project and see you in the next one.